Hello, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic and a time constraints puzzle today. We'll look at that in a moment. Don't forget our Patreon site where you can support the channel and we are very grateful to the people who do. Uh, don't forget the Discord site and all of our apps and Sven Sudoku Pad. They're all on the links under the video along with our merchandise. You can buy that and uh, they're, as I say, all there. But the first link is to this puzzle by Sundance. I don't think they've featured on the channel before. It's called Time Constraints. Um, and yeah, not much of a constraint, actually. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Cages show their sums. Look, they're all 12, which I suppose is because that's the number of numbers on a clock. Um, the number to the left of a black dot and the two numbers to the right of that dot will form a valid time, treating the black dot as the colon on an electric clock. So I suppose they could all be from anywhere between 1 and 9.59, but of course you have to remember uh, Sudoku rules, so there'll be no zeros or repeat digits within them. Um, so those are the rules. Give it a try if you fancy it. I think this is genuinely approachable. Um, I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. And note quickly that the central cells are all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then there's just a sort of 140, oh no, 1415, maybe 215 in the afternoon apart from that. Anyway, um, right. So the black dots are not crocky dots. That's vital. So let's start with this 12 cage, which is four cells, doesn't include a five. I think that has to be one, two, three, six to make 12 without using a five. Um, now, what is the constraint, actually? Let us, let's think about that. The constraint, I think it literally only applies to the numbers on the right hand of the, the single number to the right has to be one, two, three, four, or five because that's the only constraint acting on a time. It could be anywhere between one o'clock and nine something. It could be, it could end in any digit from one to nine. So those digits aren't constrained, but these ones are. These are one, two, three, four, or five. So in this column, they must be a four, five pair. Ah, oh, and that makes this one a four. So we get a five there. So I think that's how the constraint is operating. This can't be a two. This one can't be three or five now. This can't be one or five. This can't. This can be anything. And that can be. This can't be one or four. This can't be four or five. And this can't be five. I reckon those are the limitations from the. Oh, I missed one here. This is two, four, or five. Right. So now let's maybe think about the cages. Right. This can't be seven, four, one because of that. So it's either 642 or 543. We have a 6789 quad in this column. What does that do down here? This can't be 165 or 174. So it's either 183 or 192. That's given me a 23 pair, which is operating on this cell, reducing it to 1 or 4. Now in this cage, 624, 723. Or nine to one, I suppose. So that can't be an eight. Um, oh, this cage can't have a one or a four in it. Right. Has it got to have two, three, seven then? I think it has. It has to have two numbers below four, otherwise, you're going to get too high. It has to be two, three, seven, and we know where the seven goes. So seven is there. That's two or three as well. Now, this can't have 1, 2, 3, or 5 in it. So to be an eight, a 12 sum, it's 8 and 4. Um, well, this is going quite quickly now. So let's just, let's just keep going if we can. Uh, looking at the 12 cages. Right, this one. That is 6, 7, or 9 by Sudoku. So it could be six, four, two. Otherwise, it's definitely got a one in it. Hmm, there are possibilities. Oh, this cage can't have a one, four pair. So it's got a two, three pair in it. So that's 
not two or three, because there's a pair in the column. This, even more helpfully, becomes a five. That now can't be two, three, or five. Um, seven, two, three, eight, nine. So that's five or six, and this is one, four, five, or six, which is a little more flexibility than I wanted. That can't be a four, I've just noticed now. That is seven or nine. This is from six, seven, or nine. Hmm, that's not constrained. Okay, one, two, three, six, five. That is seven or nine. These are from four, eight, seven, nine. So that is a quad with that one. So everything else in the column is from one, two, three, five, or six. And this can't be two or three in row nine. So it's five or six, leaving this to be part of a two. In fact, that's a two, three pair, which I can do two, three. Um, and that wasn't quite as helpful as I expected. Nine, seven, four, two, three. We've got five, six, and eight to go in box one. Right. That can't be four. Right. So now this isn't one, two, nine because of that cell. Oh, hang on. Let's just look in this column first. One or five there. Mm, no, that didn't help. Right. Let's look at this after all. There's no five in it or three. It can't be nine, two, one because of that. So let's take the nine out. It's either seven, one, four or six, two, four. So it always has a four, which is quite interesting. That gives me a one, two pair in the row below. That gives me a seven, nine pair here. So now I can do one and five. I think that might actually be the key, weirdly. Six, eight, that's seven or nine. Um, well, maybe not. Oh, yes, one can't be there now, so we can place it in the first 12 cage we started with. This is seven, eight, nine. That's two or three. No, we're not over yet. Um, It is very neatly set up this puzzle. 7235 there. So that is a 1 4 pair in the bottom row. These are a 689 triple. 237 there. Uh, 9 can't go in the cage because that's not a 1 2 pair. So it must be outside the cage. So that's not 9. That's not 1. Not over yet. 789 1 4. Oh, that needs to be a 6 in the rook column. So this can't be a two, so that must be a one with a five there. Four here, that's not four or nine, that's not eight. Um, this pair has been resolved, one, four. Now we're just left with some pairs. So, I mean, this really is quite manageable. I don't think we were misled about its approachability particularly. Uh, I need a 1 in the central row, so that helps fix the 2-1 pair there. Um, now that makes this a 6 in the cage. 6, 4, 2, 1, 5. No, it hasn't actually tidied everything up, but we're getting close. That can't be a 1 or a 4. I'm just looking along the row. Yeah, interestingly, it's not it's not giving up here. Um, that's not a seven. This two three pair no, they're not resolved. Two three pair in row seven. Hmm, seven eight or nine six seven or nine. Three could be there or in any of those. Oh, goodness, I thought we were done and we're not. Uh, five, six pair. That is the same. I could start coloring. Well, that's quite interesting, actually. Whatever this digit is, seven or nine, 
has to be in one of those two cells and therefore has to be in one of these three and that means it can only be seven which is quite useful that's very neat as well so seven is there that means seven's in one of those two cells and the seven in the central row has to be there and that must be right so actually that's going to get a lot done suddenly uh, we get the nine and the seven up here that gives me nine and seven that gives me six in the cage that gives me a four this also can't be six or seven in fact the four has fixed that pair three there got two six pair in the central box still to resolve in fact no they're resolved by the six i got so i think we're pretty much done now actually three five and seven the only one place for five in row four um no still don't know what that one is this can't be oh in fact that is now a three with two on the bottom row nine eight three that makes this a seven this is a naked three eight nine pair down there this has become a two the cage helps finish off as does this one that makes this a two which finishes the last cage so all the cages are done now and just a few digits that's a six so this isn't it's also not a nine so in fact that's eight seven there six nine pair this neither of these are nine and in fact that's not as well which is more important eight there three six seven pair which are resolved by the given seven then we can pop across do nine six and finish off with a nine eight and there we go just a 10 minute puzzle and the the times that we get are 237 956 834 726 517 349, 256, 421, 953, the latest of them, 514, 351, 748, 613, 637, and 814. They all look like genuine um, times on an electric clock to me. So straightforward enough today. Nice puzzle by time constraints. Very nice idea and a very nice usage of it. I like the 12 cages as well, representing the 12 hours on a clock. Very clever. And uh, there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon for more Sudoku on the channel. Bye for now.